Okay, so I am a content creator that specializes in the hair industry, meaning I create content for barbershops, hair salons, things of that nature here in Dallas, Texas. And I literally have like multiple clients all over the DF dub. And I get a lot of people that constantly DM me, hey, how much for a video, how much for your content, how much to create a barber video, hair salon video, things of that nature. Now I've been creating content in this industry for like five years. And there's a lot of people in this industry that are like very manipulative, or they have this idea in their head that other competitors are trying to bite off of them or take advantage of them or like take whatever they built. And at the end of the day, nobody cares. Your competitors don't care what you do. You need to focus on what your consumers want from you and your brand. And I've had clients in the past where they're so focused on, I want the shop to be this and X, Y, Z. And I'm like, okay, great. However, what does your client want? What is the customer's experience? How can you have a better relationship or engagement with the audience that you have on social media? Now I've had some clients that are like, I never thought of it that way. What do I have to do? And the, and the reason I say that is because you have to get outside of your own comfort zone. Meaning you have to get comfortable in front of the camera, meaning that you have to bring certain awareness to your consumers or ask questions on social media to your consumers to see what it is that they want when they walk into a barbershop, when they walk into a hair salon. For example, and I'm going to give this one for free. So in a nail salon, right when you come in and you tell them what exactly that you want, when you feel a little, you know, mani petty, whatever the case, a little paperwork, they already know that they're going to be spending roughly a hundred dollars plus. With their manny, their petties, all that because it's a customer experience. And on top of that, they'll offer them champagne. They'll offer them a refreshment, some sort. Now, imagine if you're in a barbershop. Doesn't matter if it's a high class barbershop or not, or even a hair salon. Imagine if you do the same thing. Imagine if you offer them a free wash. Imagine if you offer them a refreshment just because the average haircut nowadays is usually between $35 to almost $60 in a barbershop, depending on your market or depending on the area that you're in. And for a hair salon, you're going to be spending over $100 on that. So it really just comes down to a consumer experience, a customer experience. And if you give them that every single time they walk in, whether they're regular or not, and you provide a great quality haircut, a great quality service, they're going to appreciate that. Now I have a client in Wiley, Texas, who now just opened up a second shop in Allen, Texas, who are killing it. And they understand this one because they're very outgoing people. They love being in front of the camera. They love welcoming, they love welcoming people into their shop like it's their home. They're like, hey, what's going on, X, Y, Z? Come sit down. This is your home. What kind of music you want to play? This and that, X, Y, Z. They treat the consumer like they've known them for years. They'll ask them questions. How's your day going? This and that, X, Y, Z. They make them feel at home. Therefore, it makes the consumer drop their guard. They'll crack jokes with them. They'll talk about life experience, whatever the case. And this is why they keep growing and evolving and more people are wanting to come to their shop because the entire team has that same energy. They understand people skills and these are barbers. They understand that people skills is very important in their industry. And at the end of the day, they provide great quality work. And this is one of the reasons why they keep growing and they keep evolving and they keep having a retention with their customers. It's not just about running and operating a business, but it's about more of understanding human behavior. Now, if you're someone who owns a barbershop, who owns a hair salon, or even owns a booth or a suite, think about that. How can I create an amazing customer experience when clients come in? Because there's a lot of people in the hair industry who just have clients that come in and they don't say anything to the consumer and they just, consumers just stand in there like, is anybody gonna say hello? Is anybody available? Whatever the case. And if you treat your shop, if you treat your business like it's a multi-million dollar brand, even though it's a small business, it's the little things that matter. It's the little details that consumer pay attention to. And those little things are the things that they put a review on your Google review or on social media, or they'll take a video and say, look at this shop. It's a crappy shop. I didn't get no customer service or nothing. Like these are the little things that consumers pay attention to. Because at the end of the day, everyone wants to feel important and everyone deserves the right to feel important because for some people, getting their hair cut is a therapy session. It's a sense of decompression and it's their time. So give them that experience. So the real question you need to ask yourself is how can I create a customer service experience for my clients? What can I offer my clients something more than just a haircut? When a new client comes in, I can ask them, how did you hear about us? Or I would love to know how'd you find us? That way you're collecting data, you're collecting information to understand where your clients are coming from, whether that's social media, Google Maps, whatever the case. And you begin to track that and have a spreadsheet or something that shows the data or the analytics. And it's okay to ask your customers, hey, what's something that we can do better for you? 
Or what's one thing that annoys you in a barbershop that we know that we can fix? Ask open-ended questions to your consumers because your consumers sometimes will be honest with you. Be like, no disrespect, but I think this, this, this should be done differently. And it's not that they're bashing on you. Put your ego out of there. You're just collecting constructive criticism so your brand can grow, so your shop can grow, so you can put more money back into your business so you can thrive and you can still have a customer service experience for everyone that walks in your shop.